I'd like to acknowledge uh, Commissioner Gary Bettman, IIHF Commissioner Rennie Fazell, and uh, the Hall of Fame people, Bill Hay, Jim Gregory, Kelly Massey. They have just been spectacular in getting this all put together. Let me begin by offering my congratulations to the other inductees. First, Angela James and Cami Granato. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be going in uh, with the first women, uh, the inaugural, inaugural class, and uh, I'm very happy uh, that uh, I'm going in with you. Daryl Doc Seaman, uh, the late Daryl Doc Seaman, uh, has done so much for hockey and still continues uh, the legacy with his family, and uh, it's wonderful that he is being honored. And then an old former player of mine, competitor, great goal scorer. We used to have a lot of battles, Dino and I, but uh, uh, he, he was a terrific player, and uh, I'm thrilled to be going in with you, Dino. Terrific. I'm really delighted to be sharing this evening with uh, such a fine and worthy group of inductees. I also want to uh, thank the selection committee uh, for uh, approving my induction. I'm very, very honored. I have had the good fortune of working in the greatest hockey league in the, in the world, the National Hockey League, for 44 years. I've gotten, a, I've gotten some lucky bounces along the way, but I have really been lucky in meeting and working with some wonderful people who gave me opportunities and put their faith in me, and I would like to thank many of those people. To the very first general manager of the St. Louis Blues, the late Lynn Patrick, for allowing me to get my foot in the door and work for the original St. Louis Blues as a scout here in the Toronto area. I was just a young minor guy in Toronto, really had no background, but had a great passion for hockey, wanted to find a way to somehow get into the National Hockey League, and Lynn Patrick uh, gave me that opportunity. and. Uh, I'm very appreciative of it. It, would, it was while I was in St. Louis that I would meet up with a young coach by the name of Scotty Bowman. We became friends, and many years later, I would bring him to Detroit to coach our Detroit Red Wings. And I guess we all know how that turned out with three Stanley Cups. Scotty, I want to thank you for a superb coaching job for the Detroit Red Wings. And most of all, thanks for being my friend and very supportive. In 1972, I joined another expansion team, the New York Islanders. Actually, in our first year, Bill Torrey and I remember people calling us the hapless Islanders and we were the hapless Islanders. Didn't last long, though. Bill Torrey hired me as he was putting his front office together. Bill gave me a ton of responsibility. He was a great boss. He was my mentor. He was and is a friend, and we would enjoy three consecutive Stanley Cups together before I would move on to Detroit to become the general manager in 1982. Bill, Tory, thank you for your mentorship and getting me ready to become a general manager in the NHL. Bill, I'm truly appreciative. I grew up here in Toronto as a hockey crazy kid with a crazy dream of someday, some way, of becoming a general manager of an NHL team. 
probably because I couldn't play. Thanks to Mike Illich, his lovely wife, Marion, and their family, Chris and Carol, who are here tonight, I was able to realize that dream when Mike and Marion hired me on to manage the Red Wings, a team they had just purchased from the Norris family. Early on, we endured some particularly tough years, but you hung tough with me in spite of a lot of criticism at times, and the last 20 years have brought us all a ton of joy. I want to thank you, Mike and Marion and your family, for putting a lot of faith in me and hanging in there with me. Also during the 1980s, I want to recognize two coaches who did a terrific job for us. My first coach, Nick Polano, who kind of got our team off and running. Uh, he didn't have the best of teams, but uh, he did a terrific job in kind of trying to make us competitive and pushing the team. So I want to thank you, Nick Polano. In 1985, after a terrible season, we brought in a, 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 a guy by the name of Jock Demers, and he was a pepper pot and just did a tremendous job for us, taking us from last place in 1985 to the final four against the powerhouse Edmonton Oilers in back-to-back -back seasons. Jock reinvigorated hockey uh, in Detroit, uh, he, he, he was a good coach, he, he got the players to play hard for him, and we had a lot of success. Now I believe he's a senator here in Canada, so Jock, if you're listening, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing such a good job in getting hockey uh, back on the map in Detroit. I remain the senior vice president of the Red Wings, but the future really belongs to other young men. We have a bright future thanks to Ken Holland, who has been an all-star pupil, a close friend, and a top-notch hockey man. Ken has done just a tremendous job for the Detroit Red Wings, and I want to acknowledge him. And Mike Babcock, our coach who does a superb job and brought us the Stanley Cup in 2008. And I don't want to forget, because these fellows are very important, the good men who find players for us. Jim Nell, Ryan Martin, Joe McDonnell, and our great European scout, Hawken Anderson. You have done a terrific job drafting year after year, and I can tell you I am very, very appreciative. And you are the major reason why we continue to have success. Franchises like the New York Islanders of the 1970s and 80s and the Red Wings of the 90s and 2000s succeed because of Hall of Fame players, and I have been both lucky and blessed to be involved with many. Let's start off with my time with the Islanders. Dennis Potvin, superstar defenseman. Michael Bossy, wonderful, wonderful goal scorer. Tenacious, skilled Brian Trotje. And Billy Smith, who would ravit, ra ravit it up a notch come playoff time, were the glue of those great Islander Stanley Cup teams and that dynasty. And now we go to Detroit, and boy, oh boy, did we get lucky in Detroit. With our very first pick and our first draft in 1983, fourth overall, we chose Steve Eiserman. He was the player we built our franchise around. He was a superstar. He remains a close personal friend of mine and he was the heart of our team for a remarkable 22 seasons. And now, as the new general manager in Tampa Bay with the Lightning, 
we can already see the wonderful work that Steve Eiserman has begun with that franchise. Thanks, Steve Eiserman. Let me, let me express my gratitude to another wonderful player who has been such a big, integral part of our success, and that is Nicholas Lidstrom. He is approaching his 20th season with the Red Wings. He is the best defenseman in the Detroit Red Wing history and one of the very best defensemen in the NHL's 93 seasons. We had other huge contributors to our Stanley Cups. Brendan Shanahan, Dominic Kashuk, Luke Robitaille, Brett Hull, just to name a few. All were superstars, all came to us late in their careers and helped us win several Stanley Cups. Thanks, guys. Finally, I want to pay tribute to a very special person that we don't ever want to forget, and his name is Vladimir Konstantinov. We all know about the tragic limousine accident that Vladimir faced after our 97 Stanley Cup. I just want to tell you that Vladimir Konstantinov was and is a warrior. He's a great friend and a cherished member of our Red Wing family. I, I just enjoy so much at Red Wing games going up to Mike and Marion's box at games and uh, uh, Konstantinov comes up and, and sits there and cheers with our team and we're able to have a little conversation with him. So we don't want to forget him. He, 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 he was a wonderful guy. And I guess a final thought, if my 44 years in the NHL demonstrates anything, it is you should never give up. Failure is not necessarily final. My long, sometimes turbulent journey to hockey town is proof of that. Thanks for everybody that helped me along the way. Thank you.